Well, we only have two belt winners left in this tournament, and they're going to face off for a spot in the final four. Will it be the Patriots Club champion and Madden 20 challenge champ, Noah up next, who stormed the Madden Nation last year with his run to a belt? Or will it be the veteran in the club championship, your Madden 19 club champion and four-time Oakland Raider, now Las Vegas Raider club champ, Pop, and what a heavyweight battle we have here. Nick Mazesco alongside Tyler Davis, TD. I've been looking forward to this one all day long. It, it's sort of the defense versus the offense. It's two contrasting styles. It's two guys with a couple of belts and a lot of money between them facing off for $25,000. So many storylines. We did a great job scheduling this as the last game of the night because it deserves to be. I mean, we saw Noah last year. Not, you know, I watched his game and I, I tweeted, I talked about him saying, you know, I see so much potential in this kid. I think he's one of the best defensive players. You know, people are tweeting me. You, you're talking too much praise on this kid, but his stick work is on another level. He's one of the best when it comes to stick work. And then you got Pavin. What can you say about him? This is his third straight year in the final eight of the club championship. That is just so impressive. This is a heavyweight main event bout. Let's get into it. Let's take a look at our tail of the tape. We mentioned it's heavyweight. Let's see our tail of the tape. And you look at Pavin, 119 and 6, an online ladder to play. Both upper echelon in offense, both upper echelon in defense. TD, strength on strength going against each other. Yeah, just two goons lining up playing John Madden football. I don't have anything to say. You see it all there on the tail of the tape. Everyone in the chat knows both these guys so well. Let's just get into the game. Kick this one off. I know everyone at home's excited. Let's head inside Pizza Hut Stadium. Belt winners in action. Noah and Pavin. It will be Pavin getting the ball first. Face it off for another $25,000. Let's take a look at Noah, 18 years old. Noah Johnson from Ellicott City, Maryland. 56,000 and changing career earnings. He was the Madden 20 Challenge Champion, won that with that stellar hit stick and Chris Johnson on the ground inside of Draft Champs. His path to get here, well, he had to go through one of our own. I know, you know, T.D. Barrett, he remembers that game. That wasn't too long ago. Uh, went through T.D. Barrett in that Patriots Club final, and then he had to fight through that AFC East with a lot of veterans, including a guy by the name of Don't Care About Ice who's been here once or twice. Oh, yeah, you know, he went through a battle with our very own T.D. Barrett, beat that boy, one of the Cinderella stories, and then Ice, who he really dominated, and Ice is one of the better players in the world, so Noah's had a difficult route, but here he goes looking for that second belt. On the flip side, Pavin Lockhart, 20 years old, from Yuba City, California, Sacramento area in NorCal, 170 and change in career earnings at just 20 years old. The Madden 19 Club Championship belt winner came through the LCQ last year into the Madden Bowl, had a great run at the club championships last year, and he started off the year strong. His path, well, he went through a, a, a very interesting opponent in his uh, in the Raiders Club final, had to go through Juan, a.k.a. Monsta, uh, and then had to go through that AFC West, the exact same AFC West he had to go through last year. Yeah, same exact path. Juan, a great player. Elite, another great player. Battle tested. And then in the then he went up against Tony in the AFC West Finals. Another big win. I mean, what can you say about Pavin? Like I said, third straight final eight in the club championship. No one else has done that. That's just so impressive. And as we know, four-time Raiders club champion. Let's get this game underway. Our final game of the day. And TD, after this, all we got to do, we got one more sleep. And then we're on ESPN2. Yeah. We got two, two final four games and then a, a belt game, it's the best time of the year. Best time of the year, biggest tournament of the year. I'm absolutely fired up to call this matchup. I mean, this is, you already talked about it, but this is the absolute highest when it comes to clash of styles. Noah, known for his defense. He likes to run the ball, control the clock, use that stick work, make some great adjustments. When I'm talking stick work, Noah is on another level, even compared to the guys in this tournament. And then on the flip side, Pavin, known for his offense. This guy can light it up. He makes a great adjustments as well on the fly. He's really improved his defense. This is a heavyweight battle interesting thing we go back to Noah's game against ice remember what he said remember what well, wasn't really said shouted into the camera said don't bring bunch on my field I have the best bunch defense and who's he playing one of the best bunch players in pop exactly something's gotta give Little left side Terry McLaurin to the 25 yard line. Terry McLaurin was a player, TD, that everyone relied on in those club championship games. We didn't really see him in the first two weeks of the actual club championship, but now he's back on the field. 
Yeah, now he's back with that playmaker ability. Like you said, we saw him early. He was a he was a big difference maker early on. Didn't really see him in the final 32 games, round of 32, and now you see him back here in the final eight. How about third and 10? Noah goes to the ground game with Bo Jackson and picks up a first down. Now he's gonna hurry back to the line, likes the look he has. Trips over to the left side for Noah. Randy Moss, Steve Smith, Terry McLaurin. Boy, that's a that's a great three names to have in one formation. And it looks like he's got Darren Waller on the right side at tight end. He'll motion underneath to a little single back. And he'll take a timeout. Yeah, and, and Noah, you know, he's known as a runner. He doesn't really want to pass. I think the interesting thing for him, I think the patch might have hurt Noah the most out of all remaining uh, competitors because he really enjoyed seeing that 1-4-6 because he was able to sub in a running back, kind of get out, kind of get the defense out of that, and then go down to something like strong close and I form close. Seems like he's going to do it again here as well. He loves to stay balanced, use this uh, Las Vegas Raiders playbook to its fullest potential. First and 10, and Bo Jackson up the middle out of that single back. Nowhere to go. Pavin trying to contain that no running game. You, you got to think a key to the game for Pavin is to make Noah air it out. Oh, without a doubt. That's always kind of the key when you when you play Noah. But Noah has gotten better at passing. He's very balanced. He likes to go to his same uh, plays when it comes to passing. But the key is to keep him off the ground game, force him into third and long situations. Second and 10. Oh, McLaurin, big hit at the 47-yard line. It's going to be a third and two. Yeah, a little check down, a little freestyle play right there. Goes with that curl flat play. One of the best plays in trips tight end. Check, checks it down to a drag route, takes a huge hit from Pavin. Third and short. Out of trips is Rich Gannon still quarterbacking this Noah offense. Doesn't like what he sees, and he's going to use another timeout. Uses his second timeout. Interesting, but first half, can't take him with you. Might as well get your play correct. And Noah, remember, he yeah. lost in the finals of the level next tournament to J-Wall. So he's had a good year as well. That was a great tournament, great run to get to the finals. Won the Patriots Club Championship, of course. And here he is back in a final eight. So I think everyone knows now that his Madden, 9, or his Madden 20 challenge run was not a fluke at all. And oh, wow. to Bye, Bo. Boy. Wasn't reached for, but that's just Bo Jackson. No ability needed. He'll fight through the tackle for a first down. Who needs reach for it when you got the Bo Jackson fall forward? That guy is a beast, just taking guys with him for those extra three yards. He's able to get across that first down marker. First and 10, into the I-4. Goes Noah. And there's Bo Jackson, and once again, powering through the tackle to the 46-yard line. And that's huge because Noah, you know, it can be a struggle for him on offense, but if he keeps falling forward for an extra two to three yards, that's definitely going to be very beneficial for Noah's offense. You know, Noah loves to play these games where everyone only has like four possessions total. Like, they, he doesn't want a, a, a shootout. He wants a 10-7 a slugfest. Second down to six. Gannon hands it to Bo. He'll get near the first down marker to the 41 yard line. Yeah, and to your point, Nick, Noah loves to slow it down. Like you said, limit the possessions of his opponent. He's, he's bringing out the whole playbook. I mean, he just went to single back ace, looked like an RPO power O. I don't think we've seen single back ace all year long in these tournaments. So Noah's really, you can tell he's really been in the lab looking for some runs to beat this Pavin defense. Oh, yeah. Gannon looking Come over on, the top. Man. What a one. What that could have been picked off. Legereus Sneed D'ing up Darren Waller, fourth and a yard for Noah. Noah tried to give Pavin a free gift. Pavin couldn't take advantage. And now a fourth and one here. This could be a big momentum shift for Pavin. Let's see what Noah does. The whole playbook is open, run or pass. Fourth and a yard. Pressure! Oh my God! Oh, oh, we throw the ball. And how about the oh, defense from Pavin? He brought the heat, and Noah couldn't get out of the kitchen. The oh, pressure yeah. comes yeah. through for Pavin, and he gets the stop. Noah trying to catch Pavin off guard. I think Pavin would, probably thought that was going to be a run when he audible down to I form. Noah goes with a play action to catch him off guard. He had some things open, 
but the pressure comes through for Pavin. Taking a look at Pavin's uh, item to watch. The other person that switched to Deshaun Watson. Yeah, he's only the second person. We saw Fancy do it. Pavin switching to Deshaun Watson. It was huge for Fancy. He made some big plays with that pocket presence. We'll see if he does the same for Pavin on offense. Now we'll see what Pavin can do offensively. And, you know, we've seen him run this offense at a bunch so often. Ty, I feel like he's one of the best players. When he gets a little mobility at quarterback, he can really hit some of those rollout routes and open up the field. Yeah, no doubt about it. Pavin usually does not make a lot of mistakes on offense either as well. Very, uh, very consistent with his approach. He's going to be in the New York Jets offensive playbook as we take a look at Noah's might end to watch. It's going to be that Sean Taylor with one step ahead. He likes to use her, that Sean Taylor, and we talked about it. Noah's stick work, some of the best in the world. Look for him to try to bait Pavin into some uh, underneath stuff and then make some picks, potentially causing some turnovers for Pavin's offense. Second and 12. Hey! There's that rollout. He's like, oh cool man, he's throwing me a ball. That could have been, that could have been oh picked up. Oh my God, bro, he's throwing me a ball. One each way where the defense couldn't come up with it. Yeah, we saw Noah try to do it on the on the tight end corner, almost a pick, and now Pavin almost gives him a gift back. Noah can't take advantage, can't get those feet down. Third and 12. Watson go over it. the middle. Go for it. And he's got McLaurin to the 46. Go for it. It's to be a fourth down for Pavin. He's going to go for it. Decision time. You hear Noah. He wants him to go for it. Looks like Pavin's going to do just that in this New York Jets man. offensive playbook. Let's see what he cooks up on this crucial fourth and five at his own 46-yard line. He might let this quarter run down to think about it a little bit longer. And he will indeed. Still looks like he's going to put the offense on the field. Do you like the call here at the 46-yard line? Yeah, I do. I think you got to go for this here. Pavin, extremely confident in his offense. You're at the 46, kind of midfield, no man's land. You, he trusts his offense. I think it's a good call. We got fourth and five. Watson. Ah, right side. Once dang, again, man, scary mean. Terry oh, with the clutch either. catch for Pavin. That's a super dot right there from Pavin. Takes a sip of the water as he lets the first quarter, quarter wind down. That was a great play. PA boot over out of bunch tight end. Just checks it down to the underneath crossing rope. First and 10, as we see at the Tyler YNA. Just can't wait to watch Pavin win the whole tournament. Let's go. Hand off to Bo. To the 35, big run there. Gets to a second and short. Yeah, and I love Pavin here. He's known as a bunch player, but he's switching it over to that bunch tight end a little bit. You saw him go to the PA boot over. Now he goes to the inside zone, staying balanced, looking good. Oh, make him pass. Come on, make him pass. Yep. And you hear Noah saying make Pavin pass. I'm not sure that's quite as effective because we've seen Pavin be a, a very effective passer out of bunch. Make him pass. I think that's an interesting approach, but I think Noah's reasoning behind that is he is just so confident in his in his adjustments, in his pass defense, his user ability. I think he always wants to play passers. Noah doesn't want to play a guy that's going to run on you, so he's trying to force Pavin into some turnovers. Third and two. Watson, look at the top, make no, a pass. Oh, oh my oh, God, Cheatham. Cheatham. dropped it. No celebration that? too Cheatham. early. No way, oh, bro. Oh, Cheatham, we'll take it. Woo, come on, Cheatham. man. Wow. What am what I even? What a big oh, we'll take it. drop from Randy Moss. We've seen Wesley in the oh, previous man, game drop a bunch of balls. Game, now Pavin drops it with Randy Moss, and he's going to settle for three. Go get seven, no. Go get seven. Oh, oh my god, bro, he threw me a book. It's all good. Come on. Go get seven, kid. Go get seven in the game, man. Go get seven in the game. Take a look at this drop one more time. He's looking for Randy Moss over the top. Yeah, that's big, too, because Noah clicked on and kind of left him even more. And he just couldn't hang on. That is huge, forcing Pavin to kick a field goal instead of getting a nice seven points for a touchdown. First and ten. And there's Jackson to the 26-yard line. Picks up a yard, 3-0. Pavin with the lead, but what it could have been if he was able to get that touchdown. Yeah, that was a big-time drop. 
Noah back to off offense here. No, no timeouts now. Used them all up. Bo Jackson falling forward again. But this game is kind of in Noah's control. This is this game has really been fitting more Noah's style with how it's been slowed down, limiting the possessions. Right now it's in Noah's hands. Let's see if he can bounce back, respond with a nice drive. Third and three. Oh my God. Cut the rock. Oh, big defensive play there. Uh, as Noah stymied by this Pavan defense. 3.05 to go and Pavan's gonna get the ball back. Yeah, that was an absolute bag by Pavan on defense. Zone coverage, nothing open. Was forced to take the sack, had the sheds off the edge. Now what can Pavan do? 2.41 to go all three times. This is sort of what we expect from this game, TD, because both these guys are so strong defensively. Points were going to be at a premium. Oh, without a doubt. This is a grinded out type of game. You know, one of those games where it's like touchdowns are going to be very important. Second and ten. Go get Watson him. Go get in him. Trouble. Go get and him. Down goes Watson. He's got <sighs> some mobility. But LeVar Arrington screaming off the edge. Third and 19 now for the Madden 19 club champion. What a defensive battle. These guys are blanketing each other right there. Straight man-to-man -man coverage. The sheds came off the edge. Nothing open for Pavin. Now he's backed up all the way. It is 14. Try to get half of this back is what Pavin's got to do. Go get him. Come on. And Come on. Trouble. Go get seven, bro. He cannot wow, move on offense. Guys. He cannot move on offense, bro. He cannot move. No, neither of them can move on the run, offense. Bro. They're Just stuck find in run, molasses. Bro. Find a run he can't beat. Find a run he can't stop. Find a run he can't stop. Find a run he can't stop. Is... It's, in a, it's in the playbook somewhere. It is in the playbook somewhere. Find a run he cannot stop. And this is what Noah does. We oh, saw it in his previous games. Second on, half, sticky. he tried to find a run. He found one that really worked. And That's that the thing he's looking for. It's just one run time. that he can spam and really get some points on the board because he's so confident in his right. defense, and rightfully so. He looks good on defense so far. Guys, a reminder, tweet us your thoughts on tonight's broadcast using hashtag Madden Club Championship for a chance to see your tweet on the broadcast. We'll also be selecting a few lucky people to win mutt items made up of some of the top Find players. The the remaining oh my god, bro, that's a touchdown! And Twitch Whatever. chat, we haven't forgotten about you. Make sure you're staying active because we'll be giving out items to a few randomly chosen viewers throughout the night. Noah almost able to rip one on the ground. Just a, a shoestring tackle saved the touchdown. Now he'll find Darren Waller to the 40 yard line. It's a game of adjustments. Now Noah's gonna go with some tempo, but Noah found that little RPO stretch that he likes. Gonna go back to the ground game, and now it forces Pavin to adjust with him as well. So these guys playing some high level Madden, really gonna adjust. Second half is gonna be big because that's when the adjustments are really gonna come into play. We're gonna see who has the advantage. But now Noah, with using those three timeouts, clock is really working against him here, but you definitely at least wanna get three out of this drive. First to 10. There goes Charles down inside the 20 to the 19 yard line. Haven't seen a Jamal Charles item on the field here in the club championships, but Noah breaks him out in a clutch situation. Oh, it's off the back of the hill. Oh, and there goes Simmons. And oh, Noah can't God. believe it. The rookie had a clutch in. Oh my God, Making the bro. pinball pick. Oh my Take God. that to uh, the house. The four time Raiders club champions up two scores. I've never seen that before. He threw that so early, wow. but I mean, I don't even know. No way. Oh, we're gonna you have fight, got man. to be kidding me. It bounces off the offensive Holy lineman, man. and Isaiah I Simmons I picks it out of the it. air off the lineman's back and I've takes it to the before, house. Bro. That is an Why absolute is game changer hand. for Pavin. Oh, my God, no. We, oh, need, we need the replay of this. Off the back, oh, it looked like off the back of the helmet of the lineman. Yep, big oh number 71 God. with the assist. I'd never see anything like it off of the big man's head, right off his dome piece into Simmons' hands, and Pavin takes Six. it to the crib. <laughs> oh my God, let's go! I need all of that! I need all of that!
again at first and ten. And there's Jamal Charles. TD, you talk about how much resilience plays into these games, how much is a mental game. This is where no one needs to bounce back. An unfortunate interception, but can't let that really dog him the rest of the game. Like, what yeah, is this that? Is, this is oh where we're really going to find out what bro. Noah's made out of because that is just very unfortunate. That's a backbreaker. Oh. I mean, it bounces off the guy's head, and he takes it for a touchdown. Like, even if he just, even if he picks it off, you know, it's fine. But to, to take it for seven, to go up two possessions, that is huge. We'll see what kind of Finish resilience it, and what kind of fight I Noah has in the second half. I got a gift. Finish it. And you got to love it. You hear Pavin say that. He knows right, he got it. a gift there. He will get the ball to start the second half. Oh, oh my God. An opportunity Noah. to close it out. Oh, that's so frustrating, man. That's on yeah, me. It hurts. Me. It hurts because like, Noah well, was putting together that. a great drive, too. That drive was really doing big things for him. He was in field goal range, and Pavin gets the break of the century. Halftime in our final game of the night. It is Pavin with that Madden Club Championship belt behind him with the 10-0 advantage with 10 minutes to go. So much to come tomorrow night throughout the uh, – Throughout the Madden calendar, we're so excited for all the events. For more on that, let's throw it back to Katie Emmer. Thank you so much, Nick. What a night we've had. If you joined us late, lots of great action so far, especially inside of the NFC earlier. J Wall versus Sonak Gucci. Fourth quarter, 17 7. J Wall with a dot downfield. Meeks at 24 7, and that's how the game would end. J Wall moves on to the final four. Next, it was Fancy and D Cross. Here we go to the third quarter. Fancy up seven. The Cowboys club champion finds the open field and extends his lead. He'd go on to win 27-17. So it's Jay Wall and Fancy facing off in the NFC final tomorrow night. Coverage begins at 7 p.m. Eastern on Twitch, YouTube, and the ESPN app, starting with our conference finals, and then live at 10 p.m. Eastern on ESPN2, the final, where we will name the Madden NFL 21 club champion. Nick and TD, a lot to look forward to. And also, how about that John Beast win? What a night, like I said, that we've had here. Back to you. It's been a magical night here in the final eight. Ten nothing. Pavin with the lead over Noah. And, you know, Noah had to go through somebody we've gotten to know very well. He had to go through our, our very own TD Barrett in that Patriots club final. This game, I think, just, I mean, a, a, a crazy battle. That touchdown there from TD Barrett, able to tie it up, sort of settle the game down. But it was this one, under two to go. It was a three-point game, but Noah able to close it out. I, I hate to I hate to make people relive, you know, less than, less than pleasant memories, uh, even though I had to call Tyler Davis the former Arizona Cardinals club champion all last year. But let's bring in TD Barrett because at, at the end of the day, he might know Noah. Uh, a little better than anybody here. Uh, TD, I got to ask, watching this game, you know, you've got to face off with him. You know what he runs. What are you seeing from him that is a little different or maybe the same that uh, you got to see? And, and how is, is that causing him to maybe struggle a little bit today? Yeah, no, it, he's doing a lot of the same things. I find, well, his last drive, he definitely got super unlucky. But essentially, the way Noah plays, he's going to go, like he said, he's going to find a bunch of runs. He's gonna have different runs against every situation. Oh He's just God. a super super player, and I'm back, and there's a big play. There's always a big uh, play with him here. Uh, well, every time. Uh, what did I <laughs> expect? I'm up the bar too. No, but I got the king of the big play, bringing him in. Continue. It's guaranteed. Uh, yeah, no, it's a lock. He's, he's, he's gonna he's gonna audible down. He's gonna frustrate you. He's gonna try and run on first and second down. What Pavin did a really good job of is. You gotta stop his under center passing game. It's like pretty underrated. He's pretty good with it. He runs a lot of slants, posts, and you gotta make certain adjustments, which I did not do fast enough in order to do. Pavin's doing it right not now. Not um, uh, And this definitely does not play to his advantage, the fact he's that he's uh, he's down. He's, he's a I gotta ask, before before we let you go, TD Barrett, I gotta ask, is your name TD Barrett? Because every time you hop in, That's a touchdown so is scored. Is that why you're called TD Barrett? <laughs> You'd think. It's, it's kind of looking that way. 17 nothing. Popping on top. Appreciate TD Barrett hopping in and letting us relive a little bit of that pain. Tyler I'm Davis. Good, I'm good. Popping's now up 17 nothing. This is uh, it's getting ugly. 
Yeah, it is. And it's it's crazy. Every time TD Bear comes in, it's like he's got the magic potion, right? A big play every time it happens when he comes in to talk. But yeah, Pavin really broke it open. And it's unfortunate for Noah because, it, you know, if he would have got that field goal, it would be 3-3 three to three at halftime, potentially. Pavin, if he scores that, 10 to 3. But now with that huge break that Pavin got, it's 17 to nothing. And this is not suited for Noah's style. He does not want to pass every play. He's not used to being down 17 nothing. It's really going to be a difficult climb, but he's a fighter. Uh -oh. He's That's a fighter. Darren Waller. That's Darren Waller. Now trying Good to get back in this one fight, with one play. And it ain't over yet. The youngster from Ellicott City, Maryland oh, is you back with a two score. There's a reason so he has a belt. This kid is built for the moment. He's not afraid of the stage, and he's ready to come back. Oh, That's how you fight back. One dot, one touchdown, now, you're right back in it. Plenty of time. Move. He cannot move past it. No, I can't say By the way, we got to give a big shout out. We got some famous faces right. watching right now. Please How about the do double G? Please Snoop Dogg watching the MCS games, co-streaming the GGL Big Madden fans. I know the GGL's got this seam dot in their repertoire. Oh, without a doubt, absolute laser here by Noah, right up the seam, and he needed that fight, badly. You want to show some fight? All about fight and resiliency. The question is, does Noah have what he? Does Noah have anything to stop this? This attack from Pavin, it's been the ground game, it's been through the air, it's been a little bit of everything from Pavin, but he's able to move the ball. There's that delay fade, it's Darren Waller. Yeah, there it is, the delay fade. And, and Pavin, you know, he hasn't looked great passing the ball. He's been balanced, he's using the clock, he got that lucky break. And that's the thing about Pavin. He is a professional when it comes to using the clock. He knows how to, to end games. He knows how to win games. When you give Pavin a 10-point lead in the second half, it's very difficult to come back from for Noah. But now Noah's known for his defense. He needs to get a stop. He needs a turnover. First and 10. Sanders stopped to the backfield at the 39-yard line. Yeah, I mean, it's dodge, really bro. tight for Pavin. Dodge. He's 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 two dodge. rushes for four yards, and he's four for that's eight run. passing. So dodge. it's really not like he's done anything on offense at all. It's just he got that break, and that's been the difference. And now Pavin using some of this clock. You see it here. He's already at 10 seconds on the play clock. He's going to use as much clock as he can. Watson, oh, rolling let me around, go saying a 14, on, and there's man. that mobility. With bringing Deshaun Watson into the game, he can pick up some of those tough yards on the scramble. Great point, Nick. That's why he switched to that Watson, gives him a little bit more speed to get to the outside, try to make some plays. That time he takes off and doesn't take a hit, picks up a couple yards. Go get him. Go get him. Come on, man. Go get Watson. seven somehow, Noah. Go How get seven Noah somehow, kid. Up the defense? Uh, He's still in fight, this bro. game. Give yourself Plenty a little of time bit of fight. left for the Madden Challenge champion from last year. Oh God, he bro. dials it up. Noah fight, brings kid. the heat. Exactly what he needed to do. Forces Pavin into a punt. And you heard it from Noah's mouth himself. He's just got to figure out some Are type of this? offense Please to go, go get this. seven. I was about to say. Please go for this, bro. Please go for this. Give yourself a little bit of fight, Noah. Come on, bro. You got a little bit of fight in you? Oh, you got a little bit of fight in you. Come on. Point it to me. I'll be using all that clock. Point it to me. Let me get sticky. Right, the, the kick is away from That's Shane Leckler. And he'll have good field position at the 22 yard line. And all of a sudden, listen, it, it, I'm not saying the momentum has swung, but Noah's got to feel, be feeling a lot better about himself. Yeah, he does. He really does. And you know, when I watch Noah's Madden game, it really reminds me of two Madden legends, the way he plays. And I'm talking about Problem Right, and I'm talking about Serious ah. Mo as we see another nice run. Okay. Noah's game resembles <laughs> those two so much. If you you know if you go back years and years in tournaments, they're not known for their offense at all. They're honestly not good at offense, but their defense is next level. Their stick work, their adjustments, and then for some reason they just find ways to win. They find runs. They do something. They cook up dots in the clutch moments, and that's what Noah does. He needs to be able to do that here in this third quarter. Second and seven. Gannon in the gun, rolling right, trying to stay Bro, with them. Why? Oh, we almost got picked the... on the oh back end. I thought he had it for uh, a clear completion, uh, but Pavin's defense making plays. Yeah, very tight window. That was a nice swat by Pavin because I thought Noah had a little bit of an open area to throw that in there, but Pavin clicks on, makes a swat, puts Noah in a tough third and seven, going to go back to the air. 
Look at left side. And he has Kamara on the table round. What a job to stay in bounds and pick up the first down. That little juke move and fancy feet on the sidelines. What a juke move. And you wouldn't think much of that, but that just shows Noah's stick work. Most guys would just say, okay, and go out of bounds. Not Noah. He knows he needs one more yard, so he jukes back inside, picks up a crucial first down. First and 10. Again at left side. Finding out Kamara, ooh, takes a big hit, but another first down. Noah might have something with these table routes. Yeah, this guy is just the freestyle king. I mean, he just ran a play action, went with the whole play action out of I-form twins, and now he breaks another big run. Noah is really cooking with sauce on this drive. Buckle up, it ain't over yet. We're gonna head to our fourth quarter. It's presented by Snickers. Maybe you just need a Snickers. You should grab one, because this game is coming down to the wire. 17-7, Noah trying to come back. He's at the 10-yard line, first and 10. Bo at the top of the eye. Gonna motion the receiver back over to the left side. Stretch run right, can Bo get there? Good defense from Pavin. Boy, after Pavin really had this run defense on lock TD, Noah's found something. Yeah, he's broken it open in the second half. He's, this is what Noah does. He did it in his, in his AFC East Finals, found a run in the second half. He's done it again here. He's found a few runs. He's found a few play actions. He's freestyling and it's working. Third and goal. Seven, seven would be huge here for Noah. Pavin's got to hold the door. In. Clock running down. Show some fight, Bo. And there's oh, Bo. On, oh, he's down at the one decision time for Noah. He's at about the half yard line. He's going to turn on aggressive, and he's going to try to punch this in. Not a doubt in my mind. Noah is 1,000% going for this. It's a risky decision. It's an aggressive decision, but he wants seven. I think it's the right call. Oh, it's tough. You got to have a great play. It's got to be fullback diver, maybe a stretch here. Let's see if Pobbin's been labbing his goal line defense. You got to wonder, Tyler Davis, if we were pre title update, if that's into Come the on, end man, zone. Bro, to reach one for stop, bro. It. Please, it on please, one down. stop. No, don't, don't show too much fight. Don't, too show, don't show too much fight, Noah. Don't show too much fight. Don't show too much fight, Noah. What? Don't show too much fight. You don't want to fight. Don't show you too don't much fight, fight too hard? Kid. Don't show too I'm much fight. I'm very confused, Tyler Davis. Come on, bro. Come on. Come I on. I think he needs don't to show, show too much all fight. the fight. And that's what he's doing. He's showing all the fight. Listen, some people are just built for the moment. They're built for the stage. Don't show too much they fight, they Noah. fight don't through show adversity. Too much Noah's done that. Please and now he puts the pass. pressure back don't on Don't make Pavel. him pass. Nobody wants to see that. Bro. Let him run. Let him run. Come on. Stop the run. Stop the run. Stop the run. Let's have some fun. Stop the run. 17 14. As there's Bo Jackson, our Snickers touchdown Come replay. On, man, bro. One stop, 14 bro. Please. unanswered Please. from the stop. Patriots no, Club don't champion. Don't don't Can don't he D fight. up the 20 year old four time Raiders club champ? First and 10. Watson will give it to Bo. He's got some room. Just clips his own lineman. He'll get seven. Yeah, good good first play call right there by Pavin. Settle it down a little bit. Take your time. Get composed. Run a little base. But it's going to come down to pass, uh, Pavin's passing attack. And Noah's had an answer for it. Pavin's really struggled having to go to the air. But he's going to have to get a couple first downs here through the air if he wants to seal this game. Second and three. Move, move, move. Moss motions left. Let's go. Come on, man. Make him pass. Oh, Make him pass. Field. Oh, Third God. Down. Make him pass. If you're knowing in this situation, how much right now are you looking back because it's such a close game at that bouncing weird interception and going, man, I'd be winning right now without that. Without a doubt, that was a huge break for Pavin. That's really the, the difference in the game. Pavin hasn't done anything on offense. Third and six, Pavin's gonna drop back to pass. Ah, Look at the top, play, he's man. got good him! Play. Big I first down to the 40-yard line. Ah, that looked like an absolute laser oh beam God, down the sideline. So Santana Moss called his name a lot the first two so weeks of the final awesome. 32, haven't called his name today. Three. Yeah, Nick, that was vintage Pavin. Cover two, cloud flat on the outside. He went with the flood concept. He had a streak and a corner route. Corner route, he waited, was patient. The corner route got behind the, the cloud on the outside. He throws it in there for a big time dot. Noah uses his second timeout. Got the two minute warning left, third and nine. 
Pavin on the edge at field goal range. How aggressive are you defensively if you're nowhere? Are you sending heat or are you dropping coverage? Yeah, that's a big time play right here. I might send the heat, force them into something. Third and nine, you're using your timeouts already. I'm sending the dogs, we'll see what Noah does. Needs nine, play action. He'll only send two, he's got a man! Diving uh, catch and a fist pump here. from Pavin. First down. Could that have sealed his spot? Oh, oh, Only one timeout wow, remaining really for Noah. 17 points. Clutch dot from the Madden 19 club man. champion. Playmaker to the tight end up the field, and he gets the diving catch animation, so he doesn't take a big hit from Noah. That was huge. It's going to be very difficult now for Noah. you got to expect Pavin immediately to go to the ground game. Flips the bunch over to the right side and go to a little bunch tight end. Bo Jackson, he'll get the carry. Good gap shoot, hitting the backfield. Minute 59, <laughs> final timeout used by Noah. Huge hit right there from Noah. And another good thing is that play only took one second and Noah immediately got the timeout off. So Noah will have a chance here if he can hold on these next two downs. Second and 13. Give yourself a chance, go to give yourself a chance. Counter out of the shotgun. Third down and 13. Pavin in field goal range can make this a six point game. A first down will end it. And Noah can get the ball back with about a minute 15 if he can hold. But for Pavin, he's 13 yards away here. He's got to go to the air. You got to be aggressive. 13 yards away from going to the final four. Play action. He does go to the air. Look at back Give left. It's chance. Terry McLaurin. It's be four seconds in the and about a yard. Go for this. We'll go call for it this. two. Come on. Come on, go for it. Go for this. What does Pavin do here? No decision way. time. This is a big decision here. Does Pavin go for the win and end this thing? Does he go for it all or does he go conservative, take his field goal and play defense? This is one of the biggest decisions you'll see. Chat, give me a one if he goes for it. Give me a two if he's kicking the field goal. It looks like he's gonna go for it. Here we go. And he might just take this out. He doesn't even have the control in his hands. Yeah, he's gonna take the delay, kick the field goal. It's back up now. He will take the delay of game. So Noah will have about 45 seconds. All right, 46 seconds, 48 seconds in a dream, kid. 48 46, 48, dream. whatever number you want to go with. He'll have that much time. No timeouts. A touchdown. We'll tie it. The extra point will win it. Kick is up. It's good. It ain't over yet, though. Six-point game. That was absolutely the smart decision, though, by Pavin. Took all the clock down. He took the delay a game for the extra second off, and then he kicks the field goal. 46 seconds with the way Noah is built. He's not built as a passer. He needs he need seven points as well. Smart decision by Pavin. But, and now can Noah. You heard him say it. I got 47 seconds in a dream. It, it, this is very tough for the way Noah plays, but you never know if he can break a run, make something happen. What's harder here, playing offense or playing defense? It's got to be offense with the runoff and the, how this game is with no timeouts. Gannon, first I mean, down. Here comes the defense. Down smokes. goes Gannon. Lawrence wow. Taylor is angry. Lawrence Taylor, 26 I mean, seconds left. Legal, he 23 seconds. He's using a ton of time here. That sack was not what he needed. Second and 21. Well, Playmaker up the field. He'll stop oh, the clock. He's picked up three back man, all Lawrence the way down Taylor to 15 just, seconds. Oops. Pavin's defense looking like a jail cell with how locked down it is. Oh, it's yeah, he's bow. looking good. It's a it's tough spot bow. for Noah. You saw it, Noah. He just put his ball carrier on aggressive. Oh, he's 1,000% going to go to the ground game here, try to get sticky and make something happen, hopefully break a few tackles for him. Third and 18. Stretch run for Bo. There's a lot of black jerseys out there. Fourth down. Here's your ball game, $25,000 play of Madden, right here. Here we go. Does he have a play? 81 yards for a touchdown. Let's see that stick work, Noah. You're going to have to make something happen. Fourth and 14. Hand it to Bo. Got some room ah, left side. Let's go. Let's go. But Did a good tackle go. by Pavin. Come and on. Pavin is back into the club oh, championship geez, final four with a gutsy 20 to 14 up. win over Noah. What a battle. I mean, Pavin, there, get, but a good Pavin drive, gets dude. a lucky break. Noah fights back. But in the end, Pavin hangs on to go to the final four.
Our final four is set. The four-time Raiders Club Champion, looking for a second club championship belt, is two wins away with a gutsy 20 to 14 win. TD, it wasn't easy, but Pavin storming out with those 17 unanswered. Sahil, his social media manager with the camera. What a performance from Pavin. What a game, what a battle. Defensive performance from Pavin. Got a few lucky breaks he needed, and in the end, he hangs on, holds the door on Noah, and he's headed to the Final Four. Impressive. And you know, he's so pumped to do it for his team, a huge Raiders fan. He talks about how proud he is to represent the Raiders each and every time here in the club championship. And now two wins away, Ty, I, I mean, this Final Four is stacked. Absolutely stacked. I mean, my goodness. Pavin, John Beast, J Wall, Fancy. Doesn't get better than this. Pavin, the only guy that has a belt looking for that second one. The other three guys looking for their first. And for Noah, once again, a, a great run at tournament. I mean, talk about a, a couple great runs for Noah. He had a good run at the Madden Bowl after his belt, a good run here. I think it's safe to say if anybody's out there saying Noah was a fluke after his challenge win, that's got to be off the table. This is one of the top players in the game of Madden. Oh, no doubt about it. One of the top 10 players in the game right now. This guy makes runs at all these tournaments he's been in now. When you play defense like that, and you got great stick work. That type of game travels no matter where, and he's impressive. But Pavin, I mean, what can you say about this kid? He's eclipsed over 200,000 now in career winnings. He's looking for that second belt. He's headed to the Final Four. Let's take a look at our updated bracket, show you the Final Four that will be on display tomorrow. It will be Pavin and John Beast in the AFC, Fancy and Jaywall in the NFC. One of those four. We'll walk away with $150,000 and that coveted club championship belt. Let's bring him in. Let's talk to the four-time Raiders club champion. And once again, a Madden club championship final four participant, Pavin. Pop, congrats, man. It's always fun to watch you play. Talk about this game. Take it on a belt winner in Noah. We know how tough he is defensively. You storm out that 17-point lead, but he really fought back at the end. What was your mindset in that third and fourth quarter to hold on to that lead? Well, first of all, I, I got definitely blessed with that pick six. Um, I was in a good position. Honestly, it could have been like three, three and a half or even seven, three him. Um, but I don't know. He, he played really good defense. I studied a lot for him and like his, he has some good, like noticeable tells in his defense. And one of those tells I was able to tell when it was, uh, the fourth quarter, I ran mesh and the, the corner route over, got over the cloud. I could, I just read his tells good. I mean, he still mixed it up and that's why, you know, I was a little bag. Um, I felt like I played decent on offense. You know, I didn't really have that many passing yards, but he really couldn't, you know, stop that run that I had. And then also, you know, that big play in the first quarter, I've, I've never seen that animation. Um, I, Moss literally caught the ball and then I don't know what happened after that, but Gigi Zanoa, that he, he played at a really fast pace the whole game. And, you know, when you're a runner, you're usually known for playing at a slow pace. So, I mean, he definitely is, you know, he's a runner passer, I guess you could say he played at a high pace and it caught me off guard. And you really don't know like how it is to play a fast pace fast paced runner like Noah until you actually get in the game. So, I mean, no one I played, you know, could give me the reps like Noah, you know, would give me in this game. Yeah, congrats, Pavin. That was a great game. Sometimes you need a little luck, right, to win a tournament. But yeah. looking forward to <laughs> looking forward to tomorrow night, uh, you know, going up against John Beast. He's on this Cinderella run. What's your game plan going into that matchup? Um, he caught Joe off guard with mid blitz. I feel like Joe got a little unlucky in that game, but he definitely had some opportunities. I got to play a lot more. I've been playing really good ball. Today was kind of a weird day. Um, I, I think I played a little too much, if that's, you know, a real thing. Um, I'm a little tired now. I hate, I, you know, it is cool playing last. I get to watch everyone. But, you know, I definitely know I could play a little bit better if it feels like cut back a couple hours. You know, I've been waiting. The, anx the anxiety has been kind of kicking in. And, you know, it, it's all good. I'll be good to go tomorrow. Just going to review the film and get a lot of reps in. And then, you know, we should be good for tomorrow. Yeah, you know, before we let you go, Pav, you, I love watching you play because you're 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 somehow both laid back and amped. Like I, you 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 get amped for the big plays, but I gotta ask, how hungry are you right now? It, it's been two years since that club championship belt. You're two wins away. You, you had a great run last year. How hungry are you to get back on top? Oh man, I'm definitely hungry. Uh, like past couple of years, I had some great runs, but you know, I've had kind of find myself in this position where I'm just like, just finish the job. And that's really all I got to say. Shout out my dude Kobo. He gave me great reps. I had to do this for my dude Kobo. Noah knocked out Kobo. Shout out all my 818 dudes. 
Henry Allen, all of them, they're going to get me right. And then, you know, um, a quick thing I want to say is that, you know, in India, there's a little corruptness going on. I just want to say free the farmers, protect the farmers. If you ha I don't know too much about it, please research it because, you know, as you know, I'm Indian. It, it just means a lot to me. Thank you for that. Well, Pavan, it is a pleasure watching you play. We cannot wait to watch you in action tomorrow night. Get some rest, lab up, and we'll see you compete for a belt tomorrow night. It was a battle of belt winners here in this one between Noah and Pavan, and the four-time Raiders Club champion comes out on top. 20 to 14. Coming up next, it's double coverage presented by Verizon 5G. Katie, user, and TD Barrett will wrap up an amazing day of action and set you up for tomorrow night's action.